Guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Benito, and this will be the first of a series of video covering basic to advanced programming techniques on MATLAB. So, MATLAB is a programming platform mainly used by engineers, scientists, and mathematicians to solve uh, numerical problems. Um, so, the main advantage of MATLAB is that most of the problems can be solved in a fraction of a time compared to other programming languages such as C, Java, or Fortran, for example. So we can start MATLAB by clicking on the icon and it opens up the MATLAB window. So here I have the 2017B version with the academic license. Um, so as soon as you open up MATLAB, what you see is the command window, the current folder window and the workspace window. So the command window essentially is a open calculator where you can just type in instructions like 9 plus 9 and it gives you the answer 18. So that's what command windows and the workspace window you can see is where all the information of the calculation that you do is saved. So here you can see the answer 18 is actually displayed in the workspace. And obviously the current folder window is um, what folder you're in. So if you're creating a program a script file which we will talk about later on um, then you want to be ideally putting all those script files in a folder and you want to be working in that particular folder. So um, you can see in the command window that um, when I typed in 9 plus 9 it assigned 18 to the variable 8 answer. So ans is the variable here and 18 is let's say the expression here. So if you click on the ans in the workspace you can see it's uh, pretty much saved in a uh, kind of an Excel sheet. So you can think of the workspace as an Excel sheet where all the data is saved. So that's a good way to understand the workspace. So um, let's do some more calculations in the command window. So the syntax, so syntax is basically how you um, write code in a particular language. So in the syntax of MATLAB is pretty simple. So if you want to do 9 divided by 9 then it's just 9 forward slash 9 and then if you want to do 9 times 9 it's just an asterisk and then 9 and then if you want to do 9 minus 9 it's just a simply a 9 minus 9 and then that's the answer. So let's just clear the window by typing CLC. So CLC is a function within MATLAB so CLC um, essentially just clears the window for you. So starting again and we will say B is 9 times 9. So now we have said 9 times 9, 9 times 9 is assigned to the variable b. So you can see in the workspace b is equal to 81. So when you actually write script files you want to essentially you know use variable names so you can call it in different places. So that's one thing. Um, the other advantage of MATLAB is it actually has um, functions for certain type of numbers. So for example, pi, instead of typing 3.142 to how many ever, um, how many decimal places you want, you can simply ask MATLAB to um, output pi by just simply typing pi. So it tells you pi is 3.1416, for example. Now, it's showing four decimal places and you might want to see pi to um, more decimal places. So you can simply, in the command window, you can type format long. So this is a function that MATLAB has carried out now. And now if you ask MATLAB to display pi, you can see the format long shows 15 digits. I think 15 digits. So now we can switch back to format short. So if you type this in and type in pi again, then this shows you five digits. So that's a neat little trick that we can do with MATLAB. So I'll just clear the window this time. So when you type in clear, um, what happens is this clears everything in the workspace. So your Excel sheet is a blank sheet. So everything in the Excel sheet is uh, cleared. So if you don't want to clear something from your um, workspace, then just type in CLC and it will clear the command window. <clears throat> now, 
let's think about how we can define a matrix, for example. So if we say B is, let's say we, we want to define a one by three, so one row and three columns. So with the open square brackets, what we have to do is one and then a space and then two and then a space and then a three. So this gives you a one by three matrix with one, two and three. So you, you can see that I um, left a space in between the numbers. If you want to be a little more um, clear about it, if you don't want to create any confusion, then you can use comma, for example. So one, two, three, so that's the same thing. Um, another neat little trick in MATLAB is if you want to access a previous calculation that you did, then you can simply press on the up arrow and then it shows you the commands that you um, carried out in the previous um, sequences. So you know that I carried out pi, format short, pi clear. So I can navigate up and down and then choose the command that I want. So I'll do clear and then I'll do CLC. Now, if I want to do a two by two matrix, for example, so we will say B is open brackets, close brackets, one space two, and then a semicolon. So a semicolon indicates a new row. So, and then we'll do three and then four and enter. So here you can see a two by two matrix. So this is how you define a two by two matrix in my lab. So simple. So let's say if you want to do add another, so another row, so you can simply do four, five, and then it gives you, there you go, three rows and two columns. Now let's clear this, CLC, CLC. Now, so when you actually come to do your coursework or whatever um, program that you're trying to create, you ideally want to create a script file. So a script file is essentially like a text file where you write all your instructions and save it so you can share it with other people or you know go back to it and edit it later on. So we can create a script file by clicking on the new script icon here. So this splits the command window into two and then you can see this is the new script file. So usually a good practice is to start off with a comment. So a comment is actually um, added in MATLAB with the percentage sign. So you start with a percentage sign and um, then that line will be a comment and it doesn't do anything um, in terms of calculation. So we will say this is a tutorial one and then we will do the same operations let's say so we'll say a is a two by two matrix colon and then three four and then semicolon so semicolon is something that you put at the end of every line so um, if you want to finish the finish a line in 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 a script file, then you end it with a semicolon. And a semicolon, what essentially does is um, it suppresses um, the display of the value. So what I mean by that is, so if you want to run this, for example, instead of pressing enter, what we have to do is click on the run. And when you click on the run, uh, MATLAB will ask me to save this, give it a name. So I will call it tutorial one, for example. So you can see it's got an extension of .m. So the script files um, in MATLAB have a .m extension file, file name. So, so when we run it, because we had a semicolon, the, the output, which is supposed to come out in the command window is suppressed. So if we take this semicolon out and then run it again, you can see that the output is actually displayed in, uh, in the command window. So if you don't want to, so if you're writing a big, um, big script and you don't want to display everything, then you can just put semicolons. And um, maybe you've also noticed if I put the semicolon and run this, um, so it says tutorial one, that means my program ran successfully without any errors. So you can see it's actually saved in the workspace. Now, um, let's say I want to define another matrix B. So I can do two, three, semicolon, four, five, 
and then we'll do this. So, and if we run this, you can see it ran fine and then it saved A and B. So that's all good. Now let's say I want to do C is equal to A plus B. If you run this, you can see MATLAB actually added the two matrices together for you. So that's very simple and straightforward. And also you can see MATLAB has actually saved uh, the variable C with the values. So if we open up the values here in the Excel sheet or the workspace, you can see it's actually put into different columns and rows. So, um, and there's little tricks with MATLAB where you can look for a certain value in a matrix, which I will show you later on. So another, uh, so, so obviously we talked about CLC and clear. So these are essentially functions. And one good thing with MATLAB is you can use the help function as well. So if you type in help and then CLC, which is a function that um, we've used, then it shows you what it actually does. So CLC clear command window, clears the command window and homes the cursor. So if we do help, help clear, then it shows you the instructions of uh, well, what help clear actually does. So clear removes all variables from the workspace. So we know that's true. So if you, so when you come to learn more about MATLAB, you will learn more functions in MATLAB like plot, which allows you to create a plot. And so I will show you this later in, in the series. And you can ask MATLAB help plot and then it shows you uh, the instructions. So you can actually, you can you even get like little examples, for example, uh, for example here. So also there's tons of um, tutorials and help um, in the MATLAB website as well. And then you can click on this link here, which actually directly takes you to MATLAB. So I think I'm going to stop here. Um, my aim is to create um, short videos no longer than 10 minutes so you won't get bored basically. Um, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find it helpful then give me a thumbs up, thumbs up and uh, give me a subscribe and if you have any questions then leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you and I'll see you in the next video.